Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the project uh, scheduling. So in the project scheduling, uh, particularly we are going to see the program evaluation review technique that is PERT. So the problem is uh, the activities are given. So the A to J activities are given. So the immediate predecessor are also given. So then uh, the PERT is three time estimate. So the optimistic time then most likely then pessimistic time is given. So the optimistic time is mean that so everything uh, going very well as per plan and most likely time is the normal estimate so normal duration for the activity and uh, pessimistic time is everything is going wrong uh, if we if we plan anything uh, that will be entire collapse due to some uh, uncertainty so the, that is the pessimistic time so for example uh, take a, a uh, the producer activity is nil though then optimistic time is six then most likely time is seven then pessimistic time is eight okay so uh, for b the optimistic time is three then most likely time is five and uh, pessimistic time is seven okay so like this uh, all the activities are given so now we can find out the estimated time that is te okay so te we can find out using the formula te equal to t optimistic plus 4 into tm plus tp that is pessimistic time divided by 6 okay so first uh, we can take the activity a so the to is 6 plus 4 into tm is 7 plus tp is 8 okay so divided by 6 so solving this we got the value of 7 so that is uh, 42 divided by 6 so the value will be 7 okay likewise we can calculate all those things so now for a the estimated time is 7 so for b is 5 then 7 here is 3 then 5 then 8 then 4 7 then 8 then 4 okay so these are the estimated time we uh, found out so after that we can draw the network diagram so now the network diagram a for a b c there is no producer activities so now we can draw like this so this one is a this one is b This one is C. Okay. So next thing is we can draw the D activity. So for D, A is the producer activity. So now we can draw like this. So D activity. So then E activity also uh, for E activity, B is the producer. So now we can draw E activity. Okay, so next for F activity, C is the producer activity. So now here we can take the for H, E into F, E and F is the producer activity of H. Okay, so now we can join uh, both the things E and F because there is no producer activity of F. Okay, so now we can take um, C, uh, C is the producer activity of F and E and F is the producer activity of H. So now we can draw like this okay so here this is f okay so next thing is we can draw the g activity for g activity c is the producer activity okay so now we can draw like this so this is g activity okay so next thing is we can draw h activity so for h activity E and F is the producer activity. So here E and F is the producer activity. And also here we can take H and G is the producer activity of J. Okay. So now we can join H and G. Okay. So now we can draw H. Okay. So next thing is for uh, I activity. D is the producer activity. Okay. For I activity. We can draw like this so this is the i activity okay so next thing is uh, for j activity h and g is the producer activity so if case we draw like this so the network path is not close okay so now we can draw like this okay so this is the j activity okay so here is the starting point so here is ending okay so now we can uh, 
fry the network path and the path containing the maximum duration is critical path okay so now we can write the network path a d i okay so now we can write the estimated time so for a 7 is the estimated time for d 3 for i is 8 for b is 5 for c is 7 for e is also 5 for f 8 g for 4 for h 7 then for j is 4 okay so now a d i so the that is 7 plus 3 plus 8 so that is equal to 18 okay so next part is b e h j so now 5 plus 5 plus 7 plus 4 so now 21 okay so next thing is c f h j okay so here c f h j so 7 plus 8 plus 7 plus 4 So total is 26 okay so next thing is c g j okay so 7 plus 4 plus 4 that is equal to 15 okay so now the path containing the maximum duration is 26 so this is the project duration this path is a critical path okay so now we can draw in double line C F then H then J. Okay, so now we can find out the AST, EFT, LST, LFT. Okay, so for that we can uh, put plus more over all the activities. So now uh, we can take uh, this that is uh, in plus mark top bottom is EST and here is EFT and here is l s t and l f t okay so uh, another uh, rule is so if we, uh, we go for forward direction we can take the maximum duration if we is uh, backward direction we get, we have to take the minimum duration okay so now we can take here is zero here is zero here is zero so there is no uh, producer activity so now we can add zero plus seven that is seven here is zero plus five five here is zero plus seven is seven okay so now uh, the est of current uh, sorry est of this activity is the uh, eft of producer activity so here the eft of producer activity is 7 so now we can take the 7 over here 7 plus 3 is 10 okay so here is 10 so because the for i activity d is the producer activity so eft of producer activity is the est of succeeding activity so there is 10 so 10 plus 8 is 18 okay. so for e 5 plus 5 is 10 okay so now here uh, the 7 here is 7 here also 7 so 7 plus 18 is 15 okay so here 7 plus uh, 4 is 11 okay so now for h activity there is two producer activity that is uh, here is 10 here is 15 so uh, if we go forward direction we have to take the maximum duration okay so now here 15 15 plus 7 is 22 so here uh, for J activity there is two producer activity one is 22 and uh, one is 11 okay so now we have to take the maximum duration that is 22 22 plus 4 is 26 okay so now we are going to calculate the LFT uh, so here we can take the 26 uh, 26 and here is 26 okay so 26 uh, minus 4 is 22 okay here we can take the 22 here also we can take the 22 okay so 22 minus 7 is 15 here 22 minus 4 is 18 okay so now uh, here we can take the 26 minus uh, 8 is 18 okay so now here is 18 18 minus 3 is 15 here also 15 15 minus 7 is 8 okay so next thing is uh, here the 15 here also 15 15 minus 8 is 7 
okay so here 15 minus uh, 5 is 10 here we can take that 10 10 minus 5 is 5 so now here we can take uh, there is two succeeded activity that is for C there is two succeeding activity F and G okay so F is there and G is there so so now LFT of current activity is a LST of succeeding activity so here LST is 18 here also here 7 okay so now uh, we uh, come backward direction we have to take the minimum value so now we can take this 7 so 7 minus 7 is 0 okay so this is the eft est lft lst so, so these things we came to know that so if case uh, the early start time is 0 and uh, early completion time is 7 so if the activity is start uh, after 8 days of delay so there is no effect of project duration okay so this is the maximum duration we can delay the activity and uh, this is the maximum duration we can delay the finishing of the activity okay so this is the maximum delay to start the activity and this is the maximum delay delay to finish the activity so likewise we can uh, calculate all those things so in the critical path there is no delay there is no early start okay so why because in the critical path if there is any uh, problem is happen so the entire project duration will be affected okay so that is called critical path so we have to uh, take the very much concentration on the critical path okay so the degree of uncertainty is very minimum in the critical path so we have to take care so so this is the method we can solve the problem again we will see next video thank you